Hi YouTube, so I'm here to do a review or to showcase the different types of friction pen, pencils and markers that I have, and the ones that I really like to use and I just wanted to show you, uh, I guess, different ways that I use them. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know, the brand is called Friction, it's F-R-I-X-I-O-N and these are known, this brand is known for um, the ability or the capability of being able to erase. So. You know, if you write something in pen, it's you make a mistake, you have to use white out or you have to cross it off. But with the friction, with the friction ink, you can easily erase using the tip here. And it doesn't have, like, you know, uh, you have a pencil and an eraser, and when you erase, it has, like, all these eraser bits. Um, it's, I think it uses some kind of heat technology <laughs> of some sort uh, to erase the ink. So that is one downside with the friction inks is that... I haven't personally experienced it myself, but I've heard that if you leave your planner out in the car or in the heat, the the stuff that you write with your friction markers or inks will, you know, erase. And then I've heard if you put it back in the freezer, then it'll reappear again. So I really don't know. If you do have experience, please uh, comment below so that the other people can read it. But um, so these are the ones that I have so far. Let me let me just start off with the slim. Friction Ball Slim on the 0 0.38. I really like these ones. I like, in general, fine tip pens and pencils. The downside to this is that this one has already dried out on me. It's, you know, I mean, if I fiddle around with it, I'll, it should be coming back. Uh, but I really do enjoy the fact that it's nice and thin. And maybe I'll just show you a demo. I'll just erase the O. So it looks like that. Sorry, I don't know why there's a little bit of residue here. Maybe my tip was dirty. Uh, so those are. This is the Friction Ball Slim 0 0.38, and it's a clicker type. Uh, so you don't have to worry about you know having a cap or anything like that. So those are the pens. There's this other one here. It's called Friction Point, and it's 0 0.4 tip. As you can see, it's a little bit thicker than the 0 0.3. This one does have a cap, though, so the downside is that, you know, if you lose it, then it, the ink could dry out. And then if you need to erase, then you have to take off the cap and erase. So that is one downside. Uh, it does have a little clip here, whereas these ones don't have the clip. Uh, there's a little circle in the plastic bit here that I guess you could, I don't know, put a string through or something. But uh, I, I wouldn't do that. I, it's not for me. But uh, So this is the 0 0.4. Then this one uh, is, is the three barrel friction. And I use this all the time. Uh, the reason why I use it is because it's so convenient. It has the three colors uh, and it's the 0 0.5. I unfortunately ran out of the black ink, so I stuck in a refill. <laughs> uh, it's purple, so let me just show you. It's 0 0.5. So it's very similar. There's not much of a difference, but you can definitely tell the difference between these ones. I really like this because it has one of this, these clasp type, the claw type, uh, I don't know how, how you would say, um, like it's easy to, you know, grasp something thick like that. So I really do enjoy this pen. It has the three colors and unfortunately you can't change the color outside, but I really do enjoy this one. The next one is the Friction Ball uh, 0 0.7 and I don't have it in purple so I can't show you, but I'll see this one is in black and you can definitely see the difference in the pen. Uh, and then this eraser is not on the back here, it's actually at the tip. And it doesn't have one of the clasps, but this one writes quite smoothly. I don't know if, there, if it's a different consistency or not. Uh, in, in Japanese it says enpitsu, which is, which I mean, I think it's pencil, but <laughs> it, it is a pen, it's a friction pen. And that's in 0, 0 0.7. Then I love these uh, friction markers, the color markers. 
and I use them all the time uh, when I'm in uh, when I'm documenting in my Filofax and my organizer. And this one doesn't have a clip. Cl uh, this one doesn't have a clip. Uh, it's it's a cap, but if you put the cap on, the eraser is right on the tip, so you don't have to worry about taking it off. So I'll just do it in purple. I wish, I really, really wish they came out with a thinner tip marker. I would absolutely love it. I still love these nonetheless, but I just wish one day they would come out with thinner markers. But you can see the difference there. And then the most recent find uh, I found at the store is this Friction color pencil. Pencil crayons, I guess you would say. Um, it's called Pilot Friction Iro Enpitsu. And this is in purple. And I was shocked because, I don't know, do you, do you guys have pencil crayons that are erasable where you are? I'm not, I don't know if you do, but I was just shocked at when I was <laughs> in school back in the day, I wouldn't, I wasn't able to erase my pencil crayon. So, um... That's the image there. I'll do another one. It's a little on the thin, like the the color is a little on the dull side. It's not quite vibrant, but let me just show you. I can erase it. Let me do a close up. You can see that. So this is just on the regular uh, Filofax pages, and there is going to be a bit of shadowing. Uh, there's no bleed through, but there will, will be a bit of shadowing, especially with the darker colored markers. But it's not too bad. Perhaps maybe if I use like a black ink, it would show more, but it's not too bad. I'll show you a demo on just the regular notepad that I have here. I just noticed, um, just kind of writing with these now all at the same consecutive time, this is a lot smoother than the 0 0.5 uh, tip um, friction. 0 0.4. I have a feeling maybe the, the purple ink that I have in here is a 0 0.4. Let's see if the blue, yeah. I think the blue one is 0 0.5 and I probably put in a 0 0.4 refill ink and it looks a lot thinner. Like it looks thinner, but there is a, a a difference between the writing difference between this pen, the 0 0.7, and the 0 0.4. Maybe the consistency of the ink is a little bit different in this one. If you know, please uh, let me know uh, so that the other people can see it as well. They're all very smooth, though. They all write really nicely, and I love the fact that you can erase. Um, especially in my like month on two page calendar if things you know appointments change or um, someone needs to be here at a certain time or you know things always change so I really really like the friction when it comes to uh, the month on two pages so here's just a close-up of the pens so yeah, that was a really quick video on the different types of friction pens, markers that I have. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, please uh, let me know. And if you have different types of friction other than the ones here, I would also um, like to know. So please uh, mention which is your favorite friction pen if you do have one. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching once again, and thank you for the new subscribers and the old one, old ones as well. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye!